trance. <laughs> yes, I'm alive. I haven't really wanted to be on camera too much lately. I'm alive and I'm home from Hawaii. But am I still like, you know, trying to get all my Hawaii vibes? Yes, I am. It's 45 degrees outside. I have to wear a shirt and jeans, but I am gonna wear my flip flops. I just can't do it yet. I can't like, I haven't been able to get like warm since coming back. So that's kind of stinks. But I'm undressed. I'm ready for the day. Kids just went to school. In fact, Chelsea's not gone yet. I am gonna go get my nails done. They're starting to kind of peel off. But I highly suggest getting dip nails because today is three weeks since I got them done for Hawaii. That's incredible. I've never had like fake nails look this good and last this long. So let's go to the nail salon. Should I do pink again or should I like tame it down? Pretty sure I, t I should tame it down. We're not even to summer yet. So I don't know what color I'm gonna get. I hadn't actually thought about that till just now. Hmm, decisions. Why is it so relaxing to get your hands are rubbed? I don't know. Look, it is very relaxing. Just did a little bit of a deeper bright pink. I think it's like literally one number different than what I had done. Maybe even not even different, but very cute. Very nice. Very relaxing. I'm gonna head over to Marshalls and Home Goods now. Chelsea is so cute because she's so obsessed with like drawing. She's so good at it. And she flies through art books. <laughs> And we get her nice paper notebooks so she can really like use her charcoal pens and her charcoal pencils and things like that. Grandpa got her that one for her birthday, but she's easily like a fourth of the way through it already. She loves to draw and it's cheaper to try and find those things at Marshall's. Plus, I've had an idea that I have something I wanna do and I'm trying to like see if I can make it work, but it means I need to run to Marshall's and look there. I also need to get Ashley some snacks battery splashing. I need to get her some snacks because she's gonna go to a movie with her friend today after school and uh, she requested Skittles and Junior Mints which are perfect movie snacks. So <sighs> feels good. Feels good to have my nails done nice and fresh. I probably will just remove them after this because you know this is like a little pre-Mother's Day gift to myself to have my nails nice. So I also got a that wasn't very nice of my camera to die mid-sentence. I got a new dress from Old Navy and it's very similar to one I tried on and got, remember that blue and white striped one I got, oh, it was probably like a year ago and I returned it because it was too big, which was surprising. And actually the one I got, it actually is a little still too big. I'm not gonna wear it until I have a chance to maybe go to Old Navy and see if I can exchange it for a smaller size, which is a size that I have never worn before or worn, I haven't worn it for a long time, which is very, very cool. But I don't know if I'm gonna have a chance to go to Old Navy. It's just like a little bit further away. Anywho, let's head to Marshall's, see if I can find anything good. And I haven't found notebooks for a really long time. So I'm hoping, I'm fingers crossed on notebooks. Well, struck out for myself, but it looks like I have something for graduation for Kaylee's boyfriend. <laughs> That's all I found, you guys. I'm so sad. So, we have Miss Ashley here with us. You wanna say hi? Hi. Tell them what you get to go do. Um, go watch a movie with my friend. You're gonna go watch a movie? Yeah. What movie are you gonna go see? The Bad Guy. The Bad bad Guys? Yeah. You have to let us know how it is. Mm -hmm. Tell them what snack you have. Skittles. Is it in your little pocket, in your pouch? Your kangaroo pouch? <laughs> Yeah, right here. Right there, you're hiding it, right? Yeah. It'll be fun to go to a movie with your friend. Yeah. Have you ever done that? Oh yeah, you have. Not what? with me. You've gone with Eva and them, haven't you? To a movie? No, it's Chelsea. Chelsea's gone? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of fun to get to go do it on your own. I almost came with you, but I don't actually want to see that movie. So <laughs> I'll just let you go do it yourself. So I'd like to say that I've been productive since I've been home. We did do a, one little thing that was productive, me and Ashley, but I've been watching Poldark. <laughs> That's all I've been doing since I got home. Guilty pleasure. It's actually not a bad show at all. Just that I've wasted time. It's actually sunny out here. Look how sunny and nice and the trees are blooming. I should go for a walk, but I didn't get into it when I first started watching it. I think I got like three episodes into it a couple years ago and I just didn't get into it and want to watch it. And then I just ran out of well, I have a list. Have I shown you guys my list? <sighs> my friends are the most amazing friends. And I, like, I asked a couple, like, months ago. I was like, okay, I need British 
showed. British crime, British love, British everything. I need all the sources and they came through. They, they did me proud and I have this master list that I wrote in my notebook. <laughs> it's epic. The problem is that I don't have Hulu and I don't have Acorn TV on. You have Hulu. I don't have Hulu. Tell me where I can watch Hulu. Upstairs. Oh, I can? Yeah. Okay, see, sometimes we get like subscriptions like Hulu. Oh, Grandpa is crossing the road without, oh dear. Oh, that was Grandma. There's a retirement home. <laughs> right near us and they like to go for drives but maybe they shouldn't be driving any longer anyway so I have like sometimes I get subscription like logins from friends who come over like Jason will have friends come over and they'll watch like guy movies and so they'll log in to watch something on Hulu or something like that and then we don't log out <laughs> I think that they must have watched a guy movie upstairs with Hulu, so I might actually have to go through my list and look for the ones that are on Hulu and kind of get through those ones upstairs. I don't know, but tell me your favorite shows. And I don't mind movies. I don't mind a good movie. Oh, hang on. There's a neighbor that I know right next to me. Hang on. Okay, maybe she can't see me. She's not really paying attention. Tell me what your shows are that you like to watch. And like I said, I love British shows. They just do them well. British crime is my number one. And I guarantee you probably half the shows you're gonna suggest, I will have already watched. Um, Dr. Brown, I've already watched. I guarantee you, I'm trying to like spit them out, but I'm not gonna be able to. Let me know what shows you like, guys like to watch because I like series of shows. Like when I edit, I like to be able to just turn it on and it plays and they can be 20 minute episodes and they can be an hour and 20 minute episodes. I will just continue to watch whenever I can, but I like a long story. Like I like to watch series and anyway, that's fun for me. Also, I have a new subscriber here who absolutely loved, I'm just gonna give her a little shout out. Um, you know how when we were in Hawaii and Jason mocked me for um, being all like, what's in my bag? And you're like, she, and he even said, no one's gonna care what's in your bag while we're in Hawaii. Like, why are you even filming that? I got you, girl, I got you. I have a subscriber that she was like, oh, I am a bag addict and <laughs> I am here for you. She was secretly hoping I would share what was in my bag. So, Nana to Jason. He just doesn't understand because he's not the one that carries the bag with all the stuff in it. There they are. All right, let's drop Ashley off. Okay, I really wish I had like shorts on because I would totally go for a walk right now, but I'm in like full jeans and flip flops right now. <laughs> would not get very far. But anyway, so to all my bag lovers, it like I hear you and I see you and I raise you. I will, the next bag I have, show you what's in my bag. You already know what's in my purse. Like I've got my purse here. But like road trip bag, I think that's what's next. We have a road trip planned. My sister's getting married, as some of you might know, in just over a month. How many weeks is it until she gets married? It's right when my kids get out of school. And so we're, it's a road trip because we can't afford airfare <laughs> to just go to see my family. Um, so I will show you a road trip bag because that's a little bit different than like airplane bag. It might be the same bag, but it'll have a different concept to it. So I hear you. I, I'm all about the bags and maybe men just don't understand because they're not in charge of the bag. They're not in charge of the bag. But I will say Jason was upset on our flight. He was like, he got to the airport and he opened up his bag and he was like, and he saw all of us like getting at our snacks or whatever. And he was like, where are my pring Pringles? And I was like, oh, you mean the person who mocked me for saving that little slot in my bag for a can of Pringles? You're gonna make fun of me for having my Pringles now and you want some? And he's like, well, I kinda, they're really good on planes. It's like the perfect snack. And I was like, then don't make fun of me for making a slot in my bag for my Pringles and ask for them. Cause then it was too late. And he was like, all right, I won't. <laughs> So we will have travel coming up. Actually, we have two trips, at least two trips planned for this summer. One to go see my sister for her wedding and then go back again for like summer vacation, which is what I should be doing right now. I should be planning that. <sighs> Hi, boo. How you doing? Did they buy you an icy? So now you're amped up on sugar like I didn't want? <laughs>
How was it? You had a good time? How was the movie? Good, you just asked me that. No, I know. So you liked it? Yeah. Was it kind of fun to go? Mm -hmm. Those seats are so comfy, aren't they? Yeah. They recline and you have a good time? Mm -hmm. Good. I keep asking me I know. Question. I have to take Chelsea to her activity, and she got the same Squishmallow what? from her friend at school that we gave her for her birthday. What? <laughs> yeah, she got another frog. <laughs> so I have to take her to Target to exchange it before we take her to her activity. <laughs> and then I'm probably just going to wait well, she there. She can keep it. She, she doesn't like... need two frogs. They're literally the exact same one. Well, I can have it. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not that big of a deal. Well, she's going to exchange it. And let's see. What? I don't know. Another one or something else at Target. Hey guys, I'm sitting in my car waiting for Chelsea. She's at an activity for church. It was outdoor yard games. Mm, let me show you the current condition. Um, yeah, it's pouring rain, soaking wet. And they're at someone's house and hopefully they'll be able to just go inside and play games in the basement or something but anyway i just decided i was just gonna sit at home and hang out on my phone so i waste the gas um and because it, it's like 15 minutes to the house and 15 minutes back and it's only an hour long activity <laughs> but i'm gonna get kicked out of the cemetery <laughs> where i'm sitting at right now yeah i'm in like big parking lot for a little teeny tiny cemetery so i gotta keep an eye on the clock because the gate's gonna close that's all i got for you guys today i'm in a i'm not in a, like a depressed state i have like a ton of motivation and then i don't want to do anything but watch tv and i'm i never do that and it's not like it was last time we came home from Hawaii last year where I just I missed Hawaii so much I mean I still miss it don't get me wrong but like I don't know it's like all of these like not hard but like my mom's anniversary is coming up Mother's Day is coming up my niece's birthday is coming up she was born four weeks before my mom died she was actually born on Mother's Day but then my sister's wedding is coming up and so I have like all these things coming up that are happy and sad and I don't know how to deal with it and aside from like the wedding which is in like a month and a half I don't really have anything to look forward to or to get ready for or pack for and make a list for like my normal like MO, right? And so I don't, I'm not doing anything. I'm not motivated to do anything. I was motivated to go for a good walk the other day and then it like literally did this 10 minutes later. So I didn't even have time to change my clothes. So I'm in a weird place trying to get myself out of the little funk. Um, I'm enjoying the quiet, I guess. I'm not necessarily feeling guilty about it because I know that like summer is gonna hit and I'm not gonna have the house to myself as much. I'm gonna have to like be going and you know, entertaining the kids and stuff. So I'm enjoying them being in school and being all gone for a little bit, but also like making sure I don't like spiral down as well. <laughs> so anywho, I'm just, you know, trying to figure life out but I will tell you I'm going to sneak in you'll have seen it twice now yesterday and then again today if I've edited and made new Hawaii videos that are just like topic videos like yesterday's was the resort that we stayed at um I did a little review of that resort so I just added that to the same day as Chelsea's birthday today I don't I'm not, not sure what I'm gonna be able to get edited I am working on well I want to do a big movie version of our entire trip but but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that ready in time to post the same day as this video. If I post extra videos, it's just these topic videos that I can share on Facebook groups that I'm in, and also they draw attention to my channel because they're very specific to Hawaii and to like certain things. So little extras for you guys if you need your Hawaii fix like I do. Anyway, I'm gonna let you go because I'm gonna get kicked out of the cemetery. Just know that I'm thinking of all of you. Oh, I, we, Jason and I also didn't wanna do a little sit down chat about the Big Island pros and cons because he didn't get to do that live video with me. Sorry, it's really noisy with the rain. Um, and he wants to kind of give his thoughts as well. And then we'll also kind of give our the best things that we did on the island or the, our favorite things. But we also want to talk about where your money went specifically. People who gave super thanks, people who sent us money, people who all of you have literally supported the channel and given us the ability to do the trip. And so we want to just make a special thanks kind of a video to kind of talk about those activities because in the moment we didn't talk about it because it, we were we were truly on Hawaii time we were truly enjoying our time and so we didn't like say hey thank you so and so for providing this activity for us we just were in the moment and I think you guys would appreciate that but we wanted to make sure that you guys understand and know that we appreciate all that you've done for us so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get kicked out 
I'm gonna get kicked out. The rain is like increasing and it's suddenly making me panic and I'm gonna get locked into a cemetery late at night and I'm not gonna be able to get out. So, I don't, I, like I would think that they would like drive their car in here and like make sure no one's parked here, but like it's kind of gonna get creepy here. So here's the little drive going out. Um, so I don't wanna get locked in here. I would love it if like a family member of mine, not that I want them to be in a cemetery, but like, isn't this so cute? This is why I came in here, because it's so peaceful up here, and so quiet, and there's only been like one creepy man in the parking lot. Okay, hopefully the gate, I'm gonna keep you guys on. Ignore the seat belt, I don't have my seat belt on, but I'm worried that the gate, okay, gate's still open. <laughs> gate is still open. Okay, I made it out safely. Okay, take care you guys. Go get Chelsea here and uh, call it a night. Check in on Jason. I only got to chat with him for about 10 minutes before I left to get Chelsea to this activity. So we will hopefully find time to sit down together. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That was, <laughs> I set an alarm to make sure I got out of the cemetery. <laughs> I wanted to enjoy all my time there, but I didn't want to get locked in. So, bye guys. I'm happy. I'm fine, I'm not depressed. I'm just bored. I get this way a couple times a year. I was kind of getting the summer vibes and I wanted to wear shorts and flip flops and go on walks and getting excited for beach days during the day and couples beach nights. We're already starting to plan those and then it's just, we're back to rain. So it's a little depressing. This is why people who live in the Northwest go to Hawaii. This is why, in case you didn't know. Bye guys. <laughs>